Songs of Freedom will not be seen this evening, so we can bring you the following special program. Hi. My name is Johnny Carcinogen, and you know, there is an evil empire. It has a poison breath. It owns a TV network <laughs> and brings good things to death. Yes, I am Johnny Carcinogen, and I've brought my friends with me. The Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the carcinogens. The carcinogens, the one and only, not the one and only, but the many carcinogens being introduced to you every day. And you know, I think this deserves a song, don't you? We bring good things to your life. And that's why we want to say, ba-dum, ba-dum, dum, dum, bum. P is for the way pollution stinks. C is for your crap in all my drinks. B, there's no denying all the people you are buying. I, I is for the way I learn about you more each day. S. S is for the folks that still don't know. G. When they find out you have to go. E. e. Is everything and everything the future brings. P. C. B. I. S. G. Sing it again! P. e. Is for the way pollution stinks. Yes, and C is for the crap in all my drinks. It's B. B. Oh, there's no denying those TV stations you are buying. I, I is for the way I learn about you more each day. Yes. Yes is for those folks that still don't know G. when they find out you'll have to go e is everything and everything the future brings are you ready p c b i s g o p C B I S G. See you in the water. Well, <laughs> what we just saw was some carcinogens having fun. I was having fun out there. Well, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. you know, we don't usually tell lies out. Oh well, sometimes <laughs> we do. But you are watching Songs of Freedom, but yeah, this is a special program. We are here with members of Riot Act. Thank you for being here this evening. Um, yeah. Tell us who you are and how long you've been doing this and where, you can s where we can see you perform in the city. Well, uh, we are Riot Act collectively and we are a sketch comedy troupe. We've been together now for five years, almost exactly on the nose. And right now, we have no bookings for the future. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you need some carcinogens in your office, but seriously, where have you been playing? And tell me a little bit about the members. Introduce the people uh, of the troupe here. Okay, this is terribly close to me. Um, <laughs> this is Valerie Gary. And Valerie was somebody I found on one of our stupid day jobs, and it's the only valuable thing that came out of it for either one of us. Um, this is Jenny Hurwitz who along with me is one of the founding members of Riot Act. Um, been uh, through thick and thin and all of that. <laughs> um, our newest member, Faith Schwartz, right here. <laughs> Why don't you take the mic? Oh, that makes life a lot easier. Okay. <laughs> no, we can climb and toes back. <laughs> yeah. Ready? And um, that is uh, Carl Fortunato, who, yes, is also my husband. Hello. Um, and the letter S. And, and the, letter the letter S, S that's <laughs> probably <laughs> his most important role thus far, yes. Yes. letter S. <laughs> um, and Alex Harper over on the very end is uh, somebody I have known most of my uh, adult life. And we've been together doing sketch comedy in all sorts of circumstances. Um, this is Francesca. Francesca. Fortunato. Our, our 
wonderful direct tracks. Well, we're going to get to work right now. So this is Riot Act. They're just more, they're more than carcinogens, and we're going to get to you right away. Magic. I am the boss. He is the boss. I take no loss. He'll take no loss. If there's a profit to be made, I'll lie and cheat and steal because. He'll lie and cheat and steal because. That's how the game is played. That's how the game is played. The only thing that matters in this company of mine is the very, very bottom of 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 the very, very, very bottom of the very, very bottom of the bottom of the line. The very, very bottom of the very, very bottom of the bottom of the bottom line. Move it! 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 Move it!
The practically insolvent public broadcasting system is pleased to present an entirely original operetta entitled La Donna Putana. This was written by our own mailroom clerk, Mr. Sharky Esposito, and is performed entirely by our staff here at Channel 13. This is being done in a desperate measure to keep our heads above water until the Democrats get back into power. In any case, we would be pleased to present to you now La Donna. And to our very loyal Channel 13 viewers, we say, we're sorry. It's the best we can do.
the girls are gone forever. Us putzes will have neither, except between the minutes of 2.10 and 2.15, providing we can pay the price. Except between the minutes of 2.10 and 2.15, providing we can pay the price. Except between the minutes of 2.10 and 2.15, And it's down in the barrel she goes. Up the ladder, up the copper, it's jet Up the ladder you go. If you get up creek, don't you ask for a paddle, or it's down in the barrel you go. Ignore the boss's farts, make them feel real smart, and it's up the ladder you go. Ignore the wisdom of your heart, or it's down in the barrel you go. You better keep your head in the sand or you're the next to go. Don't stick out your neck, keep up with the band or it's down in the bell, down in the bell, down in the bell you go. And now here's something to really make you laugh. A person consistently reads and advocates the views expressed in a communist publication he may be a communist. If a person supports organizations which reflect communist teachings, or organizations labeled communist by the Department of Justice, she may be a communist. If a person defends the activities of communist nations while consistently attacking the domestic and foreign policy of the United States, she may be a communist. If a person does all these things over a period of time, he must be a communist. Well, that was probably the funniest thing I've seen all evening. Uh, that, was, that was actual stuff. That's what passed for, I think, comedy back uh, maybe 40, 50 <laughs> years ago. Oh, I, think. I hope so. I know, I know, I know. And those hats, I just love those hats. <laughs> um, so, you've been watching Songs of Freedom. I'm Joel Landy, and this is Riot Act. Is there a phone number where people can contact you for bar mitzvahs and brises and all kinds oh, of... Oh, absolutely. And funerals. We like to do funerals. And brises I like. Yes. I like brises. That wasn't me! the brises. Anyway. Just he does his stand-up routine. But seriously, folks. <laughs> but seriously, <laughs> it's 212-560-2585. That is the Riot Act hotline voicemail number and if you're interested in booking us or if you just want to let us know what you think of us or send us money if you want to send no us you can't this is public access we don't do money here oh. you gotta understand just send us some naked pictures <laughs> but you can also <laughs> you can also call se yeah nine three seven one eight nine three seven two two four zero that's me i'm joel landy and i really want to credit the people who also make this show happen ellen davidson's our floor manager yeah. tonight yeah. Keeping Come us in line, and Gloria Messer's in the booth doing a lonely job in there. She's so, uh, any final words? Phone numbers again. Okay, 718-937-2240, and you guys? 212-560-2585. That's 560-2585. So or just a standing by. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right, call collect. So, uh, for everyone here at Songs of Freedom, I'm Joel Andy, and... Um, Tune in again, and we'll do this soon. You will come back, won't you? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Good night, everybody. So, should we get horizontal again, or yeah, should, okay, should, should we? Should we?
Bye. <laughs> Let's go right now. Now we kidnap him. This this way. Way. You'll never this see him way. again. <laughs> Watch the wires. Watch the wires. The owners of this country don't want that. I'm talking about the real owners now. The real owners, the big wealthy business interests that control things and make all the important decisions. Forget the politicians. The politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the state houses, the city halls. they got the judges in their back pockets. And they own all the big media companies, so they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear. They got you by the balls. They, they spend billions of dollars every year lobbying, lobbying to get what they want. Well, we know what they want. They want more for themselves and less for everybody else. But I'll tell you what they don't want. They don't want a population of citizens capable of critical thinking. They don't want well-informed, well-educated people capable of critical thinking. They're not interested in that. That doesn't help them. That's against their interest. That's right. They don't want people who are smart enough to sit around the kitchen table to figure out how badly they're getting by a system that threw them overboard 30 years ago. They don't want that. You know what they want? They want obedient workers. Obedient workers. People who are just smart enough to run the machines and do the paperwork and just dumb enough to passively accept all these increasingly jobs with the lower pay, the longer hours, the reduced benefits, the end of overtime, and the vanishing pension that disappears the minute you go to collect it. And now they're coming for your Social Security money. They want your retirement money. They want it back so they can give it to their criminal friends on Wall Street. And you know something? They'll get it. They'll get it all from you sooner or later because they own this place. It's a big club and you ain't in it. You and I are not in the big club. By the way, it's the same big club they use to beat you over the head with all day long when they tell you what to believe. All day long, beat you over the head in their media telling you what to believe, what to think, and what to buy. The table is tilted, folks. The game is rigged. And nobody seems to notice. Nobody seems to care. The owners of this country know the truth. It's called the American dream, because you have to be asleep to believe it. Hi, I'm Joe Lanny. You're watching Songs of Freedom, and uh, I was just reading my Chomsky. For the past few weeks here on uh, Songs of Freedom, we've been having Chomsky moments. I, I'd like to share with you what I've been divining from, from, from this week's reading. The targets of propaganda, according to Noam Chomsky, the two targets of propaganda are, one, the political class, which is roughly the 20% of the population that is educated, articulate, and is expected to play some role in decision-making. Essentially, they function as social managers, so this group must be deeply indoctrinated. Their consent is important. And two, the other 80% who are expected to take orders, to go along without thinking, and they are the ones who usually pay. Though it's been clearly stated in public forums that it may be necessary to fool the public, it does not mean that the practitioners of the deception are always conscious of their deception. You know, sometimes the worst people in history believed in what they were doing. In the third world, the U.S. often resorts to violence to restore democracy, which in reality usually means whichever regime, no matter how brutal, most benefits the U.S. investors. In the U.S. itself, a tradition of human rights still stands in the way of a free exercise of governmental force. So subtler techniques are employed. The manufacture of consent, manipulating public opinion with necessary illusions, covert operations that Congress and the media ignore until they overflow into public awareness too far to avoid comment. Then they are treated as scandals, isolated incidents. A great deal of attention is paid to a public drama involving chosen fall guys who may be pardoned after massively expensive public procedures 
or may do some token prison time before coming out and retiring comfortably on pensions or hush money. Or perhaps, as in the cases of Oliver North and G. Gordon Liddy, they may parlay their notoriety into new careers as politicians or media figures. One scandal after another emerges and then passes out of public attention until the next incident. Each of these incidents is portrayed as an aberration, a misadventure that departs from the norm of the high integrity and dedication to constitutional principles of the majority of our public officials. But many of us suspect that the scandals are really the business as usual, the true operations of government occasionally poking through the blanket of the necessary illusions. The public wearies of it all, their senses battered with so much meaningless input. They may sense that it is bogus, but they feel they have no power to do anything about it. The world is like a ride at an amusement park, and when you choose to go on it, you think it's real, because that's how powerful our minds are. And the ride goes up and down and round and round. It has thrills and chills, and it's very brightly colored, and it's very loud, and it's fun for a while. Some people have been on the ride for a long time, and they begin to question, is this real, or is this just a ride? And other people have remembered, and they come back to us, and they say, hey, don't worry, don't be afraid, ever, because this is just a ride, and we kill those people. <laughs> Shut him up. We have a lot invested in this ride. Shut him up. Look at my furrows of worry. Look at my big bank account and my family. This has to be real. It's just a ride. But we always kill those good guys who try and tell us that. You ever notice that? And let the demons run amok? But it doesn't matter because it's just a ride. And we can change it any time we want. It's only a choice. No effort, no work, no job, no savings of money. A choice right now between fear and love. The eyes of fear want you to put bigger locks on your door, buy guns, close yourself off. The eyes of love instead see all of us as one. Here's what we can do to change the world right now to a better ride. Take all that money we spend on weapons and defense each year and instead spend it feeding, clothing, and educating the poor of the world, which it would many times over, not one human being excluded, and we can explore space together, both inner and outer, forever in peace. Thank you very much. You've been great. I hope you enjoy it. London, you're fantastic. Thank you.